I could have been mean and just like spat in it or something, but that's just unethical and I would have gotten fired. Who am I? I'm the Black V. <laughs> Stopping crime and evildoers with an obscene display of chest. <laughs> Evil beware. The Black V will be there. To stop you. Yeah, that... That barely rhymes. <laughs> but how did this life of crime fighting start, you might be wondering. And maybe you're not wondering. But I don't care, I like telling this story. You see, me and my father used to be a team of luchadors. For those of you who don't have Wikipedia, a luchador is a masked wrestler who fights for honor. Honor. But one day a rival wrestling gang called the Psycho Cinco murdered him. And I vowed from that day on to avenge his death as the Black V. So as you can tell, I happen to like V-necks. But you know what I love more than a V-neck? Justice! Some have even said that the power of the V-neck may cure blindness and male pattern baldness. But I'm not alone in this fight for good. I have my friends. Tank Top Kid. The only thing I hate more than internet lag is evil. And acne. And the fighting polo. Brah. What's up? What's up, brah? Just chillaxing at my kegger of solitude. Nah, man, I love college. I wish I could sit here and continue talking, but there's evil afoot. Dark V? Vanish. 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 Okay, so, work horror stories. So, as many of you faithful Zachary Banks followers know, that was really hard to say. Uh, my first job was a sous chef, and for those of you who don't know what a sous chef is, um, they're basically the chef in the kitchen who has to do everything that the, the head chef says. Like, he'll make a recipe for what needs to be served or something, and you have to prepare everything that needs, like, cutting or stirring or frying or all those things. If you've seen Ratatouille, you know what's up. If you haven't seen Ratatouille, what's wrong with you? Go see it. It's awesome. Okay, so uh, one of the nights I had to close the kitchen all by myself, and it was at the end of an 11-hour workday. So I've done all my cooking and all that stuff, and some of the dishwashers were kind enough to leave me some dirty dishes to wash for myself, even though I wasn't a dishwasher. Yeah, those, those dishwashers. So I do that, I sweep up the kitchen, I do my duty of mopping the, the floors and stuff, I make sure everything is off, I make sure every counter is clean, I make sure all the knives are put away. And after I take out the recycling and stuff, I come back in and start, you know, scraping out some of the, um, the soup that was, that was left over. And it was some kind of vegetable soup, but that doesn't matter, I guess. Yeah, you don't need to know what kind of soup it was. Who cares? Could have been tomato. Could have been chicken noodle. So I'm scraping this soup out, and after I empty out all the leftovers and stuff, and so it's just this gross little pile of leftovers in the sink, I turn on the um, the garbage disposal. And I flip the switch, and it goes, go, 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 And I'm sitting there. Well, okay, I wasn't sitting there. I was standing. Why would I be sitting? So I was standing there, and I'm just like, no, 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 no. So it gurgles a little bit some more, and then it starts spitting out some of the leftover stuff that had been in the garbage disposal with this soup. So this gross stuff just starts kind of flowing all over the place. So I'm freaking out because I can't call like a mechanic or something because it's probably like 9.30 at night by now. And I'm the only one in the freaking kitchen. And I know that I can't just leave the kitchen like that or my boss will kill me. So I tighten the apron strings. I roll up my sleeve and I stick my arm into this nasty thing. So no joke, I am past the elbow in leftovers, soup, soapy water, and God knows what else. And I fill around with some of the, uh, the blades and stuff down there, praying to God that it doesn't all of a sudden turn on and chop my freaking arm off. But long story short, I get it back to working, it gurgles some more, and then it processes the rest of it and uh, that gets taken care of. Oh man, I could go on. That was just, that whole job was was a giant horror story, but I digress. Um, 
Man. So yeah, if you're not working yet, go get a job. I'm sure your first one will be just as exciting.